Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this video tutorial series on a, creating your ASP.NET Core 2.1 CRUD application on a Mac. In my last video tutorial, I showed you how we can create a connection string and also I showed you how we added our service for application DB context to our startup class. The next step that we are going to perform is to enable, create and enable migrations in our project. What will migration help us to do? It will help us to create our database tables and columns. Right now we just have a model class which is employees.cs and when our database will be created, we'll have a table called as employee and the table columns will basically be the names of our properties. To enable migrations, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open your terminal. Once your terminal window is open, go and right click on the project solution and click on the option reveal in finder. As you see that this is my project folder that's being displayed in the finder window. All I'm going to do is in my terminal window type cd to change directory and drag and drop my project folder on my terminal and then hit enter. Now I will be inside the ASP core CRUD directory. Now I can run my .NET entity framework core migration commands to enable migrations. So guys once you are inside the project directory you would need to run few commands in order to enable migrations and update your database. But before we run those commands, go ahead and check if your server instance in Docker is up and running. If it's not and you try to run this commands, you will get error related to network or server related error. So first let's go ahead and check. It's always good to check that if our server is up and running. So let's click on Docker. Docker is running, so let's open Kitematic and loading. So my SQL Server instance is not running. So if I had run the .NET entity framework migrations command, I would definitely get some errors saying that there was some network related error and the migrations could not be created. So in case if you guys go ahead and run the command and anytime find these errors, Please double check if your server instance is running. So let's start our server. Okay, server is running. Now what we want to do is, now we can go ahead and run our .NET Entity Framework commands to create and update our database, to create migrations and update our database. So the first command that you want to run is to create your migrations, to add a migration to your project. But before we add a migration, let's go ahead and open our application DB context class and add our DB set that is for employees to our application DB context so that our migrations for this particular employee entity will be created. So let's go ahead and create that. So that's it. And now let's go back and open our terminal and run the command to add migration. .NET EF migrations add and we have to provide a name for our migration so I'm going to call it initial create. So EF stands for entity framework and my migration name I call it initial create let's hit enter and you will see a migration folder being created in your project that's done by entity framework and if you open up the folder you should see a file called as initial create with some numbers before it this is basically the timestamp the date and the time when this file was created you click on it 
and you open it, you will see that it has an up and down method. Within the up method, you will see that there is some code to create a table for employees. This code was added into your up method because we added the DB set in our application DB context class. Therefore, when we added our migration, it detected that DB set and it added the code to your initial create migration. So when application, when we update the database, when we run the update database command in our terminal, what's going to happen is anything within this up method it's going to run the code so as of now the code that we have within the up method is to create the table so it's going to create the employee table and it's just going to run the code once so if your employee table is already created it's not going to create it again so let's go ahead and now run the code to update our database so entity framework can go ahead and create a database called as ASP core crud db that we specified in our app settings.json file and once it's created it will also create the employee table so let's pull up our terminal window so we can go ahead and create our employee table by running the following command okay so the command is dot net and the frameworks ef database update and the migration name our migration name was initial create so i'm going to specify that here and now i'm going to hit enter when i hit enter what's going to happen the database is going to get created for and the employee table as well so let's go ahead and hit enter and now we'll wait for entity framework to create our database and the table okay so the process is complete and entity framework has successfully created our database and our table employees so let's go and check it with a short data studio that if our employee table and database has been created so so let's go and open up your Azure Data Studio. Log into your Azure Data Studio if you have not logged in. Click on this database option and you should see your ASP Core CRUD DB database created. If not, then just right click here and refresh and you should see it. And then if you go and check the tables, you should have a table for employees. Now it's there look at the columns. As we mentioned earlier that the properties that we created will basically be the column so it's first name id last name and phone number that's created so that's it for this video tutorial in creating how to create our application db context and our migrations in the next video tutorial we will start creating our application controllers so that we can manage the crud functionality to create update delete and edit our employee database table so thank you for watching please like and subscribe these videos so we can create more stuff and share it with the community thank you